Chad, it's Maximus here. I'm just doing a quick video. This happens to be just kind of like a no name, a known no an. This is a medical body temperature heat gun. This is something different versus more traditional heat guns that might be used in uh, industrially HVAC or heating, ventilating, ventilation, air conditioning, uh, contractors, general use. The big difference is one of these is specific, a medical one specifically designed to work between 90 degrees and 110 degrees, extremely narrow. You can't measure temperatures of any other stuff. It just says low or high, <coughs> excuse me. Where one of these, even a basic one, measures up to 500, well, negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, all the way up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Better ones do 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit. And one's called pyrometers, which are just a very high temperature uh, heat guns up to 2,000 degrees. Now people have actually asked several times about the various videos that I've done on these types of heat guns, the reviews, can I use this on a person? And these are just not designed to be super accurate to detect something like a fever. If the human body is 98.6, say 99.2 might be getting warm and 100 degrees plus uh, might be, or 101 indicating a fever. I mean, you're talking just three degrees there, and these are definitely not reliable enough. Even nicer ones like this, which have what's known as an emissivity setting, which kind of is a dynamic calibration that you can adjust because different materials reflect different amounts of heat. I have this one adjusted, and we can see it does like okay, but it's going to vary by a couple three degrees which is the difference between saying, saying somebody's fine or saying somebody has a fever. And there, the real obvious difference between a medical one is these almost always have a laser so you can see where you're pointing it out. And they have a very wide opening with a kind of a lens in there. Or medical grade ones, very different. You can just see the reflective surface that actually has an aluminum cone. And it's tuned for, I believe, 5 to 15 micrometers are microns, which is the wavelengths of infrared that you're looking for. So one like this is much different because it's only, it's one, it's designed to be used very close within about an inch of the skin, one in, one to two inches. Um, and it runs much more accurately. Something like this also is designed for actually detecting fevers. If it's 99 or less, it will display green. If it's between 99 and 100, the screen will be yellow. And if you're over 100, the screen will be red. So it's, this is the style that you would want to have to check if somebody actually has a fever. And even versus using my hand versus using my forehead. Whoop. Let me do this. There we go. Using my forehead, it actually reads the 98.6. Let me, and there's our memory. Plus, one of these medical ones has like 30 odd memory settings. I wish this one stayed on longer, but this is designed entirely around measuring, a, you know, between 90 and 110, really just human body temperature. It is calibrated and has a special cone and sensor tuned just for human skin. And that's really the difference is one that is designed for medical use since it, you're trying to detect just a couple. I mean, and when considering Celsius, you're detecting differences between literally one or one and a half, maybe two degrees Celsius and two to three degree or two to three degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it's actually a pretty big deal. You really need to have a unit, even if it's a cheesy, you know, Chinese one like this. Still, if you're actually trying to determine if somebody has COVID or something like that or has a fever, then you need to have one that really is specifically tuned, once again, for human skin and for measuring very narrow uh, temperature ranges. And so that's kind of the deal since you need something that not only is accurate but is really tuned. Um, this thing works in the, in the realms of accuracy where this just may be plus or minus three to five degrees just on any given time, even if you set the emissivity properly, it's still gonna have quite a bit of variation. Plus, these aren't designed to be used next to the skin. These, like on this one, it has two dots. This is supposed to be used 
from a distance from about here, which is like a meter away. Anyway, this really wasn't so much of a review. It was just a little video to point out the difference between a medical grade heat gun and an industrial type heat gun and how you don't want to rely on an industrial one if you're actually trying to determine if somebody has a fever. It's just uh, how it is. Even with, you know, like the Cetexity, which is a pretty decent one, they're just, this is designed to measure hundreds of degrees in wide temperature ranges and it'll never give you that tenth of a degree accuracy like this. This has a, the whole unit and sensor is designed right around, once again, the average human body temperature. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.